the barrier we ha barrier we have is this, as you said earlier, unchecked power of the pharmaceutical industry that are there to produce profit for shareholders, no legal obligation to give you the best treatment. And we have this history now of what is the effect, if you allow me, in the last 30, 30 years, because people might say, hold on a minute, what about life-saving drugs, innovation, aren't we living longer because of the drug industry? Well, let me answer all those questions directly. So the last 30 years, lots of evidence from around the world, most of the new drugs that have been produced have been copies of old ones. They change the molecules here and there. So think about the waste. They patent these drugs. By the time someone's figured out it's no better than the, a previous cheaper drug that's off patent, they've moved on to the next one. Okay, no change in the system to stop them doing the same thing again. Uh, data from France between 2000 and 2011 revealed that more drugs that were approved by the regulator, double the amount of drugs that were approved by the regulator, ended up being more harmful than beneficial to patients, than the ones that were of therapeutic value. So 15% more harmful than beneficial versus around 8% that were actually of incremental or certainly a better therapeutic value than a previous drug. What can we conclude from all of this, Majid? Very clearly, very clearly, the overall net effect of the pharmaceutical industry on society in the last few decades has been a negative one.